All right. Mr. Cholo Trucker, how you doing? I'm good, Pastor. How about yourself? Good, man. I've been waiting for this announcement ever since I saw you coming out of the waters and from Alcatraz. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've actually talked before that. Um, and I was just like, you know what? Let me get past this. And then we can definitely uh, set it up. Obviously, what we're talking about is the bike ride. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the, I don't know what we're calling it, but as of not right now, the Pacific Coast Highway 1 Challenge. It's, a, I believe, 454 miles from San Francisco all the way to Santa Monica Pier. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, give, yes. Give or take five miles. I'm not sure exactly, but I believe it's 454 miles. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's it's a long ride. Um, we got to take this serious. Uh, yes, there's going to be some nice scenery and, and things like that on the, you know, Pacific Coast one highway and all. But uh, but it's, it's you know, it's something serious, it's something that... Um, we definitely got to dedicate ourselves to to yeah. train for and uh, and really take the right proper precautions because um, you know it's not just jump on a bike and start hitting pedals. There's uh, there's a lot of things that that can happen. So uh, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> on my end, you know, I've been cycling for eight years, bro. But when um, I drove up Highway One the last time I was in LA when I did the the Tony A and, and American Cholo and uh, the stretch show, we decided to come up Highway One so we can really see. And um, I'm not gonna say I'm intimidated, but you got to respect that, right? It's something to be respected. Um, and I realized, like, in these next months between now and February, which the dates? Oh, the dates. January yeah. 30 is kickoff day till. February the 4th ends on a Saturday it's from a Monday to a Saturday, six days of riding roughly 70 something miles each day. But from on my part, you know, you know, each of us are going to have to approach this different, obviously, because I've been riding for eight years, but I'm heavy. You are light, but you haven't been riding. So we right. both got to train and do so you're going to see me slim down because um in, in, right, in, in dry, riding up Highway 1, driving up Highway 1, I realize this is going to be some serious, a serious ride. You know, the most I have personally done is 50 miles in one day. That's the most I've ever done. Okay. Okay. And I, how, how long ago was that? Um, to do 50 miles flat. Because <laughs> uh, remember, Highway 1 is hills. Yeah. But again, that means you're going to go slow up. But coming down, you're going to go a lot faster also. So maybe it evens out. But I believe it took um, three and a half hours to do 50 miles. Okay. But that's flat. You know? Yeah. So we're going to start at 7 in the morning. Because I originally, I wanted to start at 6. But I started looking at the the sunrise on, on that in that month. The sun don't come up till 7.48. So I figure seven o'clock we start because that way we're already out there. We're going. And um, so we have seven, 10 hours of light. Cause it, oh, I think maybe a little more, maybe 11 hours of light. Cause I think it gets dark at five 30 or six in February. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people, uh, well, not a lot, but quite a few people have asked me like, Hey, when is, when are you guys going to do this? When are you guys going to do this? And some people, uh say that they want to jump on and join so those are the dates that's the date right there say what what is it again Pastor? Uh, january 30 a monday to february the 4th yeah so this is uh an announcement as well as an invitation yes for anybody anybody's welcome to come on jump on and, and and join this ride that we're doing but we just want to make it clear you know take this serious um, like you said, pastor, you had to respect it. If you don't respect it, then it's probably not worth doing. Um, you got to take this serious. It's not just, Hey, I'm going to, you know, jump on a beach cruiser and, and, you know, ride down the beach and no, no. But, you know, this is, this is going to be quite the accomplishment. 
Yeah. So this, this uh, I'm, yeah, I'm taking it very serious. And, uh, you know, we, I, I will be dropping videos of writing and, and training for this. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, then um, I want, I do want to say, I want to tell them the days. So it's it's going to be split into six days, guys. And you're going to have to pay your own way because each evening ends at a hotel. And for those of us that are going to join, we're going to try to talk to a hotel and get uh, a group rate for each one. That way we can get the best, the best rate possible as our group. So my wife is, is going to be doing that, calling. The, we already have the cities where we're going to stop, so we're going to find the best rate in hotels. And once somebody joins in with us, they're going to get access to all of that. But I do want to say day one is San Francisco to Santa Cruz, 79.1 miles on day one. Uh, day two, from Santa Cruz to Big Sur, that's 77.6 miles. Day three, Big Sur to Cambria, 71.6 miles. Day four, Cambria to Lompoc, 75.4 miles. Day five, Lompoc to Santa Barbara, 68.2. That's the only one in the 60s is day five. And day six, the final day, Santa Barbara to Santa Monica, 74.8 miles. So they're on the 70s, low 70s, except one is a 68. Yeah. And, and uh, also, you know, for those, uh, if somebody did reach out and, and ask me this, can they just do one of those days? They can't take the entire week off. Yes. If uh, you're in area, any of those areas that Pastor just uh, named, and you would just want to ride with us just that one day because that's all you can do. You're, you're you're welcome to do that. You are welcome to do that. The thing is, like I said, take it serious. We are on a schedule here. You know, we cannot be waiting around. It's like if we plan on leaving at seven, then you got to be there at seven or earlier. You know, don't. Hey, you know, I'm going to be there 30 minutes late. We got to We got to hit the road. We got to hit the road. Um Weather conditions, you got to take that under consideration. We are on a schedule. If it rains, guess what? We're getting on that bike and we're hitting those pedals in the yeah. rain. So, you know, I, I um, while I do want to, you know, invite people and all, and uh, hopefully this can be a really good time, I do want to let it be known that this is something serious. And it could, you know, it, it does have its dangerous element to it. So, um you know, let's uh, let's really be focused and and uh, take this serious as as we should. Yeah, we we are literally riding on the highway. Um, some of the towns that we pass through, like Santa Cruz, it turns into a bike trail. So there will be parts of it where we will be safer because we're you know it's an actual paved bike trail. But for the most part, I think 80, 90 percent of it's going to be on the side of the highway. Now, a lot of people do this ride uh, as part of their bucket list. So people are, are accustomed to seeing cyclists um, along that highway, you know, so that's a good thing. Um, people are used to it. You know, when I was driving up Highway 1 just a couple of weeks ago, there were, we saw cyclists on there doing the ride, you know. Um, so each day ends at a hotel, even though it don't get dark till five or six. At least my plan is that we start at seven and we get to the next hotel by three because most hotels don't let you check in until three. And that way you have the maximum amount of time to relax your muscles, take a bath, jump in the pool or whatever it is you need to do to recuperate for the next day. So the quicker we get to the next hotel, hopefully by three, that gives us that much time to recover. You know, um, there's yeah, it's, it's a serious thing, bro. I was in, in uh, Lake Tahoe. I took my bike this last weekend. And I did a ride from Lake Tahoe to Truckee, and um, it's on the highway. And um, man, um, in Lake Tahoe, there's nothing flat. So you're either going up or you're speeding down. And um, I only did 22.5 miles. And at the weight I am now, uh, that, was, that was challenging. I did it and I was fine. I mean, it's not like I couldn't walk you know, after the ride, but it was challenging. Uh, but it gave me a taste of it because it was literally on the highway and uh, part of it was a bike trail, but then it turned into the shoulder of the freeway. So I'm just jamming along semi trucks and stuff going by. Um, but it made me respect highway one even more, mm -hmm. but it was fun, man. It was a rush. It was, it was an adrenaline rush. It, it was great. 
And by doing that ride, two more people from Lake Tahoe have now taken up the challenge and they want to do it. That's, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, um, possibly after uh, when, when we hit the, the finish line, looking to do a little bit of, looking to do a little something right there. Um, I know uh, a couple of people have, uh, well, two people I got at me and said like, Hey, you know what? Uh, could we just meet you guys at the finish line and, and yeah. things like that? It's like, yeah, you know, of course, man, of course, you know, all we're welcoming all support that we could possibly get. Um, I've never done anything like this. Um, Pastor, you're a cyclist, but I don't think you've ever done anything like this either. Uh, this is kind of a new adventure for, for all of us, but uh, I'm very excited to do this. Uh, I'm much more excited and proud to be doing this with you, Pastor. And uh, I think this is going to be very meaningful. Um, I, I did this. This sounds great. man. I, I, I It's like I can't wait, but at the same time, I need to because I, I, I really need to get trained. I really need to get uh, geared up for this. So uh, I got a lot of work ahead of me to do. Yeah. And that's okay. That's okay. I like it's, that. I it's like it. It's exciting, man. There's something about cycling that releases endorphins. They they say it just um, it frees your mind. I personally like cycling, not only for the health reasons, but it actually helps me spiritually. You know what I mean? Just mm. all you hear is the wind on your ears. Unless you ride with, with a headphone. It's illegal to ride with both, you know what I mean? But if you ride with one sometimes, but sometimes I just like just hearing that air hitting my head and just there's something about it, man. So it's going to be a challenge, but at the same time, it, I believe it's a time you'll never forget, you know? Yeah. And uh, like when, I don't know what it was like in Alcatraz, but when you were swimming, you're just by yourself. All you hear is that water, you know? And I, I'm guessing you probably don't hear nothing else, you know? So it almost forces your brain to focus in a different way than everyday life does. Yeah. Yeah. This is, uh, this is going to be awesome. I, I just, I, I'm just so glad and feel so blessed to be a part of this. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you might turn into a cyclist after this. <laughs> you well, you like know it. what? Hey, it, e either that or I'm never going to want to <laughs> ride a bike ever again. <laughs> One of the two, yeah. One of the two pastor, but, uh, there it is, guys. You guys know now the dates, uh, mark you on your calendar. Sometimes I'd be doing the round table and it's like, hey, how do I get on uh, this bike ride with you guys? And we didn't know the dates. You know, we kept on uh, shuffling back and forth. Hey, how about this? How about that? Well, now here it is. Boom. That's the dates. That's the week that we're going to go and we're going to handle this business. So jump along, train, do whatever it is you guys got to do. Pastor, how do they uh, how do they get involved? Yeah, well, um, since we have a website with the church, I'm just adding an extension page. That way I don't have to open a whole other website and do all that. So go to www.houseofrestchurch.com. That's our church website. And scroll to the bottom and you'll see a Highway 1 sign. Click on that and it'll open up to all the information that, that you'll need if you're interested. It's a six-day run. You're going to need your own hotel money. Um and we're going to get rates for that. Uh, I like the way you said, if you want to just do day two to day three or whatever, you're welcome to do that. Um, those of us that are going to ride, uh, you also, um, we're going to have support vehicles. We're going to have vehicles not following along with us, but they're going to be there with water and snacks and extra, extra uh, uh, tubes or tools. You know, so it's not like we're going to be out there and if something happens, there's no access to nothing. We're actually going to have a couple support vehicles, uh, first aid kits. Hopefully we don't have to use those, but those will be available. And so we're going to have support the whole way, you know, and um, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And uh, if, if that's something that you want to do, if you want to take up that challenge, then come come with us. We are not racing against each other. All of us are fighting this mountain. <laughs> yes. It's real. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's 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 not a race. It's not uh, you know, us versus, you know, me versus him or anybody like that. No, we're all in this together to complete it. Yeah. So um, you know, the challenge is uh is the course itself. So um man, I'm just I'm excited, Pastor. I'm excited. Yeah. Not now, 
now that we got the date set and everything, now I'm just like, okay, <laughs> now I got a vision. Yeah. Boom. Time to uh, time to get to work. Yeah. And as time goes on the website, we're gonna add more things. Uh, we're gonna add suggested types of bikes. If some of you maybe you're into cycling or maybe you have no idea what to use. It, I'm going to put some information on there to help you because there's still plenty of time to say, you know what, I'm going to get a bike next week and I, I'm going to train for the next what, whatever, seven, eight months, you know, so I'm going to try to put as much information as I can. That way nobody feels left out. Nobody feels lost. I don't want you to go and spend $500 on a type of bike that is not made for this kind of ride. There's, you know, there's certain bikes that you need for the endurance or else you find yourself working harder than you would have if you had the right bike. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that's that website, www.houseofrestchurch.com. All right, man. Hey, Pastor, thank you so much uh, for giving me the idea to do this, this <laughs> yeah. bike ride. Um, and then for jumping on there with me and saying like, well, now, now I got to do it too. And it's like, okay, now here we go. I'm here excited too because I mean, you did the boxing and I had to watch from the side. You did the swim, I had to watch from the side. And now I get to be involved with something with you. Make history together. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I, I, I can't wait. It's time to get to work. It's time to get to work. Maybe uh, maybe instead of driving a truck, I'll just be riding a bike and making deliveries that way. Man. So yeah. give, give me prepared. I'll be uh, pull, pulling the trailer with the bike. Now. And, uh, and, and as the time builds up, I'm probably going to plan a few rides in SoCal that maybe we could get together, maybe like in uh, Santa Clarita, where there's a lot of hills. And it'd be cool for a couple of times just to get that chemistry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just to get that chemistry going, you know what I mean? And um, and have and plan a couple of rides up north here and then maybe a, a couple of rides in Southern California, maybe, maybe, you know, 40 mile ride or something just to get used to as a group because you're going to be doing a lot of riding by yourself until some unless somebody joins in that's from your area you know yeah yeah uh, um once i get everything going i'll be dropping information on what i'm doing and uh if anybody wants to link up and and, and uh, you know hit a trail or something like that together yeah um but you know the big thing is or was was the announcement of the date that's there, and with that, much more information yeah. should be coming out. But now everybody can start making their plans. Yeah. Um, and here we go. Get ready to yeah. rock and roll. And if there are any, one last thing, if anybody wants to follow along as we train, um, we are all going to be on Strava. Strava is basically the Facebook of cyclists. So when I go on Strava, basically I hit record. People can see every ride I did, how long it took me, how fast I was going, everything. So all of us on Strava, people will actually be able to see us do our workouts as we progress closer and closer. And on those days, those that are following us on Strava, even if you don't have a bike and you just want to support and follow us, you can join Strava and, um, and I'll, have connect, uh, I'll have a link in how to find us on there and you can literally watch us as we train. Yeah, and I just got Strava. I just got it onto uh, my phone, but now I need to start cycling. So, <laughs> all right, man. Thank you so much, and God bless you guys. God bless, guys. All right.